We're here with head men's and women's golf coach, Josh Pedersen. Coach, last year, both your teams saw a lot of success. Men obviously won a UMAC championship and women had a medalist um, and, and beyond for both teams. How do you kind of piggyback off that success, even though uh, both teams lost some, some key cogs last year? We lost some great players last year to graduation, um, but we have a lot of returning players that were around those players last year. Got to watch them have success, learn from them, and they can take that uh, moving forward in their careers now, watching uh, their teammates have success last year and, and work over the summer and, and move forward into this year. Yeah, golf's a very mental game. Um, a lot of those kids you graduated saw a lot of improvement over time in their career. Both uh, men and women saw six, eight stroke differences throughout their time kind of dropping off. How do you, as a coach, how do you kind of approach that if you might have a younger team with some kids that kind of take some lumps along the way. How do you coach that to your kids? Yeah, Experience is the best teacher when it comes to the improvement from freshman to senior. So there's growing pains your first few tournaments uh, as an underclassman. Uh, we talk about those experiences, try to learn from them, where can I improve? And then as you're doing that, you learn to be mentally tough too. And um, that's something that you acquire over your time playing golf, not only in tournament play, but just on your own. Um, so we really try to talk about those things and, and it really um, shows as, as these kids get into juniors and seniors and, and have that experience as their teacher. Yeah, so on the men's side, uh, you return Gabe and TN, obviously. Gabe has been here a while, so he's in his senior year. So how do you kind of use Gabe as as to set an example, obviously the, the women's team is young as well, and then you have Haley coaching them. How do you kind of use them to try to teach these younger kids um, kind of the way of what you expect from the golf team and, and what you want going forward? Yeah, I'm thankful to have both around this year um, to help out. They both lead by example, which is a, a good thing in golf, any other sport, but golf too. Um, and they're just there to, to help kind of nurture these guys as they come up and um, just setting a good example and how to be a student athlete and um, putting the work in. And uh, I'm just thankful to have them around this year. Um, as we approach the UMAC preview this week and then the UMAC championships are are a month away, um, how do you, what are some goals you've set as maybe a team or individually? What are some things you're looking for maybe early and then as you progress through these first few um, meets throughout the year? Yeah, we want to improve every time we go out. Um, so early on here, we're just trying to get uh, tournament experience with a lot of new players. Um, and as we get further into the year, um, become more competitive, um, improve on every round, learn from every round. So we're gonna make mistakes. It's golf. Um, as long as we learn from it, keep working hard, which we've been doing, uh, we're gonna see some good results by the end of the year.